So one of the neat things about Articulate Storyline is that you can add buttons to your slide, like I've got on this slide. You just come up to the Insert tab and then choose Button. You've got a couple different styles here to choose. And once you select one, you can just draw the button on your slide, and then you can go about formatting it. Like you can change the fill color, the border color, the effects. You can also type some text on your button if you want to. And you can add a symbol. You can select the button, and then up here in the Format tab, you've got this whole long list of symbols to choose from. Now, once in a while, we have people that want to put a special symbol on their button, a symbol that doesn't exist here in this list of options that's on the Format tab. Well, there is a way that you can add whatever picture you want to your button. I'm going to show you how to do it. So I've got this blank button right here, this red one, that doesn't have any symbol on it. What I'm going to do is select the button, and then down here in the States panel, I'm going to choose Edit States. and then. Um, initially, I'm going to be editing the normal state of my button. And what we're going to do is add a little image to that button that I've got on my hard drive. I've got a little um, icon that's got a transparent background. It's a PNG file. So on my Insert tab, I'm going to choose Picture and select my picture that I've got. So it's pretty big right now. It's a little too big. So I'm going to go ahead and size it down until it's about the size that I need for my button. And then I can move it into place here. Now the default style for buttons is that the um, icon on Storyline Buttons has a little bit of a shadow, so I can also apply this little picture effect up here, apply a little bit of a shadow so it's going to match my other buttons. And now that my icon is in place on the normal state, I can copy it to the remaining states of my button. So I'm going to do a Control C here, and then down here in my States panel, I'm going to choose the Hover State, do a Control V to paste it, and then I'm going to do the same thing for the remaining states here. Just do a Control V on each of them. And when I'm all done, I can click Done, Editing States. And now that button is going to look a lot like it belongs with these other ones that we see shown here. And I haven't hooked up any triggers to these buttons yet, so they're not going to do anything. Um, but I did want to show you the behavior when I hover or click. You can see that there's a little bit of a change in the color when I hover. Um, when I click, there's a down state, right? And the same is true of this one that I added the icon for. So if you've got a special symbol that you want to use and you've already created or um, you know, had somebody else create a special image that you want to use for a button, it is possible to use that symbol on your button and just add it to the States pane in Articulate Storyline.